Hey, it's Brian from Moment to Ponder again. And another, um, it's Beard Sember, by the way. Um, another home improvement type, easy fix project for those of you that, you know, maybe just don't know. Uh, and it's super simple, super cheap, and I'll make things better for you. Fixing the crusty shower head. Or, without the cleaning part, replacing a shower head. Either way, same same basic motions. So stay tuned. Not that you really have a choice. I mean, I mean, you can shut it off. But it's not like there's going to be a big commercial coming. I'm rambling, aren't I? Fantastic. If you're screaming kids, they're in timeout right now for... I don't know. I just didn't want to deal with them. So, um... I'm in their rooms right next door. I'm in the shower. Hair products. Uh, let's get on the shower head. The crusty shower head. How do we fix it easily? You can tell by my awesome movie lighting here that oh, I suck at lighting. Um, hopefully this is okay for you. Look at that crap. You've got hard water. That stuff builds up and it doesn't take long sometimes. Well, here's how we're going to fix it. It's super easy. And the actual work involved will take you about... 10, 15 minutes. Um, well, uh, it'll take longer than that to uh, get it cleaned, but your work will only be 10 or 15 minutes. So let me get this thing set up. I'll show you how we do it. So these are the tools we're going to need. On the left hand side there, a uh, couple of pliers and wrench, uh, like a crescent wrench. Some um, thread tape, Teflon thread tape, beef jerky, toothbrush, a water glass, a gallon of vinegar, some uh, deodorant, some cortisone cream, kidney beans, some funky ratchety wrench, and uh, some Allen tools. That should do most of it. Beer optional. So what, what are we really going to need to do this? Um, these wrenches here, wrench and pliers, and the tape, the toothbrush, the drinking glass, and the vinegar. Everything else is optional. Doesn't have to be a whole gallon of vinegar, but a cup is enough. Alright, let's get on this. Beef jerky is a good idea too. They told you it wouldn't take long, especially with modern video. It's been 20 minutes. Had six beers. Not really. Um, ignore the nasty rubber band that holds our shower can. Yeah, keeps it from slipping down. Um, I don't know why it turned to blue. I guess the rubber on the shower can is blue. So, sorry. Whatever, man. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but right here, this round part where the threaded comes out of the stem here, it's flat. And that's so you can get a, a wrench or pliers on it. Now you can use adjustable pliers to grab that and take it off. That works fine, but since they tend to have teeth, it's more likely to scratch it. So if you have an adjustable wrench, such as a crescent or the like, use this. It's just, you know, less likely to scratch things up. If you don't care, whatever. I don't really actually care. I'm not looking at the back of my shower head ever, but, you know, that's me. Urgh. One quick turn and that baby's loose. And then it's just a matter of twisting it off. Oh, yummy. Alright, so let's take a look at this, right? Nasty, crusty stuff. It sprays out the side. I don't know if you can see in there, but that ain't pretty either. How do we fix that? Simple. Now, I've already done this, like, you know, most television cooking shows. Pull it out of the oven instantly because it already cooked it. Actually, I had another shower with the exact same shower head that um, 
we replaced the shower head on with one of those hand faucet things so we could wash the dog easier, honestly. Now this shower head's been sitting in a glass of vinegar. Standard cooking vinegar. It looked about the same, right? It's been sitting, uh, to show how safe it is, I left it in there. It's not the reason I left it in there for so long. But it's been in there three or four weeks. It doesn't show a sign of wear at all. That it's not going to eat it away. But it did eat all the crust away. There's a little crust left in here. So what we're going to do, see my back, there's probably holes in my shirt. This is my home improvement shirt. There's a little crust left in here. Old toothbrush, preferably not your current one. Just get in there and scrub it out a little bit. Get the worst of it out. There's, there's some yuck in there. Alright, so just give it a quick scrub. Get the worst of it out. It's fine. I didn't scrub that at all. Just ate it off. I may have wiped it a little, you know, just with my finger or something to get it off, but that's it. That's what it looks like, and it's perfectly safe. You only really need to leave it in there, like, overnight um, in the vinegar. That's more than enough time. And if you want to mess with it, probably half a day is fine. All right. Oh, there's some crust up here. Let's use our uh, toothbrush and dip it in the vinegar here. We'll clean up the pipe a little bit. It's not really necessary, but hey, while we're at it, right? I'm going to smell like a salad. Oh, the joys of hard water. That's yuck. What I'm doing here is what is known as overkill. But, uh, whatever. There go the screaming kids. Mom! Blah, 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 he's doing blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Gotta love them. Alright, so it feels like this is the way I'm going to twist it on. Right? So in this case, clockwise. Pretty sure. You can kind of tighten your fingers around it and then turn and if it's going on your hand will creep up if it's if you're turning the wrong way it'll kind of creep off so that means that's the same way I want to wrap the tape on so that when I turn it it's not trying to unwrap the tape and one quick wrap around there. Probably enough. If it leaks, it's in the shower. Okay. You have more water in the shower? Whatever, dude. All right, which one's the clean one? There we go. Uh, again, if you don't want to smell like a salad, once you get this up there, turn on the water for a couple minutes. <laughs> Rinse it out. Put it on by thumb first. My hand, it's getting hard to turn. We'll whip out the wrench. Now, this is the exact same method. You just put a new one on if you were putting a new one on, right? These aren't, there's not a lot of rocket science in here. You don't have to be Norm Abrams to figure this out. And, you know, it doesn't have to be super tight either. I mean, it's a shower. If it drips a little bit here, it's a shower. I mean, you don't want it pouring out the side and squirting back on the wall or something. You know, if there's a little drip, you're probably okay. This is probably the, one of the easiest plumbing projects you'll ever do. All right. So that one's clean. What are we going to do with the old one, which is what we would do if you only had one, right? Glass of household vinegar. Stick it in until it's covered. Use your toothbrush to clean out the threads and stuff. Maybe to wipe the outside. 
Let it sit there for a few hours. It'll eat most of that junk away. And like I showed you, sure didn't hurt that at all. So that's how you take care of a crappy, crusty, nasty shower head. Either replace it, clean it up. And cleaning it up costs you a couple cents, right? Vinegar's cheap. And don't use balsamic. White vinegar. Unless it's all you got, but that'd be a waste of beautiful vinegar. Alright, so hey, check out the blog, check out my other shows, subscribe, comment, like, all that jazz. And, uh, you know what? Have a great day. Hug those kids. Purple shirt. Um, so I was putting this video together. And I'm like, hey, I may have given a little bit of bad advice. Most finishes will be safe with vinegar. Uh, there may be some fancy shower heads and stuff that you have that have, like, a special finish on them. Some, like, antiqued brass or something. Might not work so well. So, um, be aware of that. If you have cheap-ass chrome-like shower heads, uh, this will be fine. But if you have some really super expensive something, um... Test a little edge of it first or something with vinegar. I, I don't want to be responsible for that. Ooh. Okay, carry on.